Hey guys, it's Kim and we are here in my bathroom and we are gonna do my makeup routine. I'm gonna do a holiday look for you guys and show you all my tips and tricks. First, I have moisturizer on my hands and I extra moisturize. Even if I've already moisturized for the day, I put on moisturizer again just to, I don't know, I like like a little bit of like a oily slip for the foundation. And um, you can see I have psoriasis on my face. It's coming on my face. So whoever's stressing me the fuck out needs to leave me alone. I like this dual-ended brush. Well, really what I use, or what I used to use is this MAC Kabuki brush. You guys don't even understand. This brush is maybe 12 years old. I think I got this in college. It is so damaged. MAC, please continue to make the 180. They discontinued it probably seven years ago. I love La Mer foundation. I put it all on my hands and just kind of mix it. I guess I'll use the new brush. I'm gonna put foundation all over. I like this like little end because I can just like go over my eyes with the foundation. So once that's like all blended, I mean, I can go in and cover up those psoriasis spots. So you'll see that I always kind of go back to this brush. I don't know why I'm obsessed with it. But brows, I use an Anastasia pencil. In the 90s, I would, in high school, make my brows so thin. Drew Barrymore was my everything inspiration. Before I really powder and set everything, I use my concealer. So we're gonna do Conceal Bake Brighten. If you guys only saw the under eyes that I have, well, you are seeing them. I like to really warm up my face and I think a big step in that is concealing. When I'm doing my makeup just in the mirror or on the go, I take a sponge and I use this Toshin and then I kind of take the concealer and put it up on my eye too. Okay, when you are a mom, you have no time to blend like this. So unless I have work and I'm getting my hair and makeup done, I do not have time to blend all day. So I try to do it as quick as possible. So after I kind of like blend everything, I swear I just take whatever product is on the sponge and just go over my lips again. I just love a nude palette. Like if I'm gonna do my makeup, I can't see anything. I don't wanna see my skin color of my lip come through until the end. Like I need a nude palette. This is my baking powder, Conceal Bake Brighten. The number two has like a little pink tone to it. So every time I do my makeup, I bake. I love how baking looks. I swear I could just go out like that. <laughs> After I bake, I do cream contour. Cause I'm not done baking. I still have to bake my crease. You know what I love to do though? Is create lip contour. And you can't get it too high yet because you look like you have a mustache. I have a little spot right there. You know, I always do the darker color on my forehead because I love a tiny little forehead. I loved my mom's makeup. She always had a red lip. Red nails and a red lip, always. So I just loved that about her. I actually just ran into my old stepmom yesterday. And we were talking about how she loves makeup. She's so glamorous. She was with my dad for like 10 years. And so for Christmas one year, she got us, uh, my dad got me and Courtney makeup lessons when we were 14. Cause he was like, if my girls are gonna start to wear makeup, I do not want you guys to look like clowns. I just do a little blending so it doesn't look muddy. I just kind of like pat it. So then I go back to the translucent powder to powder my whole face. This is like my problem area. If I don't have that powder, oh my God, I could look like I have like lines. Like you guys don't even understand. I kind of like go in a three like this, like that and down, like that and down. That's my trick. And I just kind of get into the hairline and I kind of like push it up. I don't know why or where I learned that, but I just love a really dark forehead. And then I always just put it at the tip of my nose when I'm done. And I just kind of rub off all the excess powder just right there. 
I am going to keep the baking powder under my eyes because I'm gonna start with eyeshadow. We're gonna do like a blingy look and try to do a little bit of glitz and smoke all together. Anytime you see a little hole like that, you know North was here. North loves eyeshadow and blush. Highlighter, stuff that's like powdery that she can get into with a brush and ruin it. That's like, she has such a heavy hand, she's so aggressive. I am gonna start with this shade. It's like a really pretty neutral. Start with the smoke. So usually, I don't really do a crazy smoky eye myself that I really like how my makeup artists do it because they're so amazing, but I'm gonna do it for you guys today. Okay. Kim, you're doing a good job. So now I'm gonna use the lighter color, which is kind of at the brow bone. Ooh, I used it way too much. Okay, there we go, there we go. Fingers help. So I like went way too far, you guys. So I'm gonna try to clean it up. I need my under eyes always smoked because, I don't know, I just feel like I look really naked without it. So regardless, even if I'm doing a light look, I just always smoke it with contour. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I really like this Stila bronze bell. And I'm gonna use it right down the center of the eye. Blend it with my finger. This color one that North got her hands in, and I'm just gonna kinda like put my finger on top with my finger and just kinda rub, because this color is like a really pretty goldish greenish almost. And then with the rose gold underneath, it's really, really pretty. Next, I am going to line the inner eyes with black. So then I'm gonna curl my lashes, and I love this lash curler by Troy Surratt really gets in there. All my makeup artists are like, they die. They're like, how do you get so close to the lash? But I just do. These are my lashes. Everyone thinks that I have on lash extensions and I don't, do you see that? No lash extensions here, people. My two favorite mascaras in the entire world are Lancome Hypnos Doll Lash, like they, they sent it to me with my name on it, or Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. I'll go to the side so they can really see the lashes. I'm gonna do one lash with my Lancome and one lash with my Charlotte Tilbury because I wanna know for myself which one I like better. I try to get all the way to the root, but I'm a messy mascara girl, so I like it to look like clumpy and messy. Now I'm gonna get in there, do you see that? I like the mix. It's good to layer and mix. Ulta Beauty has this lash separator. I don't really like to separate. Mm. Oh, I kind of clean up. So if you let it dry all the way, it'll just start to flake off. So don't trip, don't trip. This is my Conceal Bake and Brighten, and this is the Brighten. It honestly is like the best. This is the key to my Armenian dark under eye circle success. I couldn't live without it. For lips now, I have been loving a dark liner. So instead of making my cupid's bow really defined, I've been kind of filling it in right there. And it just, I don't know, I love 90s glam. So I know this looks really dark because there's kind of that con concealer foundation on my lip. And I just kind of blend the lip liner with my finger. And then, always remember, clean your hand before you go. So I'm gonna use Classic Icon 2. My all-time favorite blush is NARS Orgasm. It like has this sheen to it. I'm about to contour my nose, you guys. Kinda come down. Always do, always do the underneath of your nose and a little on top. You know who taught me that? Nikki Tutorials. Do you guys know her? Makes your nose look so cute and little. The last and final step is highlighter, and I'm gonna use the Kylie palette, the Kylie that she did with my mom. And it says, you're doing amazing, sweetie, of course. Um, I 
kind of mix a little bit. I love big palettes like this. I just do like down my nose. I should have done this earlier on my upper lip, but sometimes if I forget. The lip's a little too dark, I think, one side. This is one, my nude one. Use a little bit of gloss. This is the final holiday smoky look with a little bit of glitz and glam. I really surprised myself. I'm not a makeup artist, I never claimed to be. But after today, I might change that title.